Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to install Isaac Sim using the container installation option. So let's get started. Open your browser and search install Isaac Sim. Click on the first link from NVIDIA. It will take you to the official installation documentation. On the left side, click on container installation. As shown in the previous video, make sure your system meets the minimum hardware requirements for Isaac Sim. At the top of the page, you can select your Isaac Sim version. This is very important because container installation commands can vary depending on the version. Here, we'll select version 5.0.0. Let's start by installing Docker. Open your terminal and run the first command to install Docker. Once the installation is complete, run the post installation command. After that, verify Docker by running the next command. You should see, hello from Docker. If you see that message, it means Docker is installed properly. Now, let's install the NVIDIA Container Toolkit. Run the first command to configure the repository. Then run the second command to install the repository. Once done, execute the next command to configure the container runtime. Finally, Verify the installation by running the NVIDIASME command. If it shows GPU details, your NVIDIA Container Toolkit is installed correctly. In NVIDIA's documentation, they describe running Isaac Sim in headless mode, which means you won't see the GUI. Instead, we'll follow the steps I've written in a file. I'll share the link to that file and all commands in this video's description. Now let's begin. Run the first command to give Docker permission. Next, run the command to pull the Isaac Sim container image. This process may take some time the first time you do it as the image size is around 7 gigabytes. Be patient and wait until the container is fully downloaded. Once the download is complete, run the next command to start the container. This will open a new terminal window named Isaac Sim. Inside this new terminal window, run the final command to open Isaac Sim. Depending on your system performance, it may take a few minutes for the software to load completely. Once Isaac Sim is open, let's quickly check if it's working properly. We'll repeat the same small experiment from the last tutorial. Create a cone, add physics, and add a ground plane. As you can see, the simulation works fine. Although this method works, I still recommend using the workstation installation method for future tutorials, since that's what we'll be using ahead. You can check out my previous video for that. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll cover installation of Isaac Lab. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video helpful, like it and comment your doubts below. See you in the next tutorial.